This is Shepard Humphreys with Counter Violence Institute and just want to go over a couple little tips for you here. Uh, there's several ways you can learn what it is we're going to talk about today. Uh, the way that I'm going to tell you, uh, listening to me, is not the best way. It's not the way that will help you remember uh, and that will ensure that you never do it again. Uh, but you don't really want to learn that way because it really hurts. So uh, this is the best way to go about it, I think. What we're going to talk about today is the slide. When the slide cycles on a semi-automatic pistol, uh, it comes back a couple inches and, uh, you know, it's hurt a few people over the years. Uh, that Most of these are kind of beginner mistakes, but uh, if you learn them right the first time, you probably won't ever have them happen to you. Uh, the first is, of course, we're going to use an unloaded weapon here. Um, I'm going to leave the slide back so we can see here about how far back it's going to come each time. We've got about an eh, inch and a half, two inches there, and this is on a 1911. So if we have it a little too close to our face, it can come back and catch us. Uh, but the first thing we're going to talk about is, uh, of the four things, is the thumb. And either the thumb on the uh, shooting hand, uh, on the strong hand, or on the support hand, one or the other, uh, sometimes that's often the one that's in the way. And we'll close this up just for demonstration. Now, if a person has their thumb right up here, we can see how that might, when the slide comes back, it might catch the thumb, take a little hunk out of it. Uh, the other thing is, if somebody has their support hand, and you can see it from this angle, if the support thumb is back there, of course that's incorrect. This is why it's incorrect, uh, is it can come back and catch you there too. So making sure that the thumbs are down, you have a proper grip, uh, you're holding it properly, that'll help prevent this from happening. Number two is if you're in a weaver stance and you're not quite doing it properly and you have your gun a little too close to your eyes here, well, it can come back and catch you as it cycles. So that's not a good thing either. Uh, just make sure you have it out far enough. And of course, the weaver is actually a bit further out even than that. But if you do want to get it up a little closer, make sure you keep that clearance. Third is if you're point shooting. And in most cases, if you're tucked up against your body, you're going to have enough clearance there that it's not going to come back and hit you. But if you're doing a single hand and you're a little too, uh, too low on your belly and you have the gun uh, maybe canted off to the side a bit, it's definitely possible that slide can come back and catch you right in the gut or in the chest. And, uh, you know, best case scenario, it just hurts you. But if you're in a real combat situation, it could kind of mess up your cycling uh, and you have to do a clearance and, and then get right back in the fight. So that's number three. Uh, number four is if you're peeking around something, uh, some object, uh, and you're using it as cover or concealment, uh, if you're doing it correctly, it shouldn't be an issue. Uh, but if your gun is canted, the wrong direction and if this is the object that you are shooting around and you're kind of peeking your gun behind it now this isn't the proper way to do it but uh, if you were doing that and you had your gun up in this way it could come back and catch you there as it cycles so those are the th uh, four main ways uh, that the slide can come back and either hurt you or mess up your shot uh, so just remember those and uh, hopefully you learn this way and not the hard way thanks for watching